Welcome back. Welcome. Shoot all the peoples. Holy shit. These guys remind me of um, just NPCs in um, the division. Generic soldier types. <laughs> that shield did you well. Why are you doing that? That doesn't look like it's doing anything. It's just for show. Just taking little pot shots, all right? Look. Shoot, shoot at the back. That's, the, that's yeah. the place to shoot. Shoot the tank right in front of him. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Who's your good boy? Uh, apparently, you're not supposed to say that to kids. Did you watch that video on the internet? On the internet? No. On the internet. Apparently, th there's this whole big debacle going on about... Right, is that the right word I'm looking for? Uh, in this generation? Yeah, probably. Uh, yeah, shoot the back. Shoot the back. I'm trying to. It's uh, actually kind of really hard to control. <laughs> oh, nice. Fucking just punch the shit out of him. Uh, there's this whole big thing going on right now um, where apparently a kid, uh, uh, the worst thing you could say to a kid is that he's a good boy. Why? Uh, it gives him this false sense of security that he is doing something like, apparently you're supposed to say to a two-year-old or, you know, lesser than that, I really appreciate the things that you are doing right now. Like, he's two. He's not going to understand that. Yeah, that, see, I, yeah that's weird. See, because my sister's got a four-year-old. He's a little shit, though. Yeah, he is. Um, but I noticed when I was at her house, on her toilet door, you know how people have things on the toilet door? Yep. She's got a thing, a list of things to motivate your child, like things to say. And it's yep. a whole list of those sort of like, oh, you, you know, you're doing really well, and so, like, you know, motivational things, but things that probably wouldn't say to a kid, you know, because you'd think they wouldn't understand it. Yeah. Oh, well, then again, you know, I don't know about you, but I've, I've realised kids are a lot smarter these days, and... Like, a lot smarter than our generation of kids anyway. Like, because we are in a new generation. Yeah. Um, as much as people don't want to admit it. That we're not millennials. There's not no longer millennials. The millennials are the ones having the kids, which is now generation, I want to say, I. It's generation I. I think I think that's what they're called. Yeah, because they call generation I because generation iPhone, you know, that yeah. sort of shit. Um, fuck me, man. I'm surprised they just didn't call it the I generation. Well, that would make more sense. To cash in on yeah. the fucking iPhone and i everything. Yeah, but then fucking, you know, Apple would probably want a bit of stock in that. That's only doing three damage per thing. You're hitting or her hitting? Oh, him hitting. Me. It's him. Oh, him, sorry. Looks like a her, but... Um, That's what that ponytail, that fucking little man bun does to you people. Makes you look like a chick. You know what's really, like, what really gets me with... Um, but, and I, I've been living with my sister been staying for the last two weeks or whatever. Yeah. And the thing that's like sort of been the toughest for me is being able to talk to the kid and get through to him because I talk to adults a lot. Yeah. So you can't talk to them like an adult but you can't talk to them like they're a baby either. No. There's, what? there's a middle ground you got to try and find. I suppose that's the thing like you and I don't have kids so we, we, should, we should state that we're not experts in anything like ooh. Jesus Christ. Fucking speaking of Mario in the last episode. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Um, this is just our opinions on the, on the, on the facts. Based on, on the fact that we have no experience in this field. Yeah. Which makes us fully qualified in the logic of most internet people. Well, there you go. <laughs> Since you said it like that, disclaimer. <laughs> triggered. <laughs> it's, a 20, it's because 2016 is over. Is the year of the trigger being triggered over? Or do you reckon it's going to escalate? I think it's going to get worse. You reckon it's going to get worse? Like someone's It's gonna... already started. Someone got pissed off at Randy Orton, the wrestler. For taking a picture at him of him when he was in um, in the gym working out. No, no. He got pissed off because Randy Orton wouldn't sign an autograph for him. No, he's... Because he asked during Randy Orton's set. Like, he didn't wait until Randy had finished his workout and be like, hey, you know, do you mind signing an autograph? Yeah. Or just being like, oh, hey, I'm a huge fan. I'll let you finish your workout. Do you mind signing an autograph afterwards? Sort yeah. Of thing. That would be the best way to go about it. And apparently, this guy got pissed off because Randy didn't give him an autograph and told him to fuck off. Yeah. Now, guys, if you want an, an autograph from us for some bizarre reason, at least wait till we're finished. Well, I mean, we don't go to the gym, but say you meet us in the toilet for some bizarre reason. At least wait till we're finished taking a piss. And let me wash my hands first, unless you want me to, um... Otherwise, I will shake you your hand with my piss-filled hand. I mean, I'm happy to do it. 
If you really want me to. <laughs> Wait, whoa. Well, okay, case two is over. Case two. Dun, right, you've been playing this, haven't you? So you know what's going on. Oh, I mean, sort of. I don't really remember too much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sort of just rocked up here, eh? <laughs> just sort of rocked up here, eh? <laughs> it is actually for a change. We're doing a very big session early in the morning, oh, yeah. where normally we do a short, smaller sessions later in the day. But it's too fucking hot in this town. It's too fucking in hot, fucking and room. it's one of the days which is in our small room. We're BFFs now. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> We're BFFs now. She seems cool. <laughs> I fucking love him. This is so, so much more cool. like sarcastic and annoying. Like not annoying by the now sense of, you know what I mean? Yeah. He he's so much more annoying to other people. Yeah. <sighs> Practically BFFs now with the exo suit. <laughs> Today's did I do report. better this time? Do, 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 do. Nope. Thirty-one <laughs> percent. Frank West, tabloid journalist, age fifty-two. <laughs> I like, well, I just changed from exosuit to reindeer fireman. <laughs> Pursue the convoy. Oh, yep, I remember this. Ooh. Probably want to kill those two. I'm so glad that they put the fucking thing up in the corner there. Yeah, it's sort of less distracting, but it's cool to look up and see it. My sister was recently playing Tales of Borderlands. I've got that on my computer, on my Xbox now, don't I? I think it was free. <laughs> I don't know. Um, feel as if I've got it now. She, she was playing it, and you know how all the, bo the options come out down the bottom? Yep. The biggest problem I have with that game is when you get an achievement, it'll come up down the bottom and cover half the options up. And, of course, they're all time decisions you got to make. Yes. And it's like... Uh, Fucking sick as, bro. I, 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 I don't know what I, I don't know what decision to make because I can only see three of them. Well, then you'll have to turn your chair. I'll just... But I think there should be an option to turn achievements off. Like, for those companies to be like, oh, yeah, we should probably move that. Like, there is an option for them to move it, obviously. Can you fucking... You gotta get off and open the door, and then you'll go through on the other side, and your bike won't be there. Shitting me? Yep. That's annoying. One annoying thing. But, I mean, you got a truck just there, I'm pretty sure. Oh, hello. I think you can get in that one. Nope. What about the other one? If you use your, you know, the Spectrum Analyzer, It'll tell you which vehicles you can get in. They'll light up. Hello. Careful for that zombie running in front of you there. All good. Reach oh, 28. Level up. Should level up, eh? Fucking, I didn't realize you got to 28 already. Uh, how do you level up again uh, in this game? Yes. That one right there. Uh, fortitude. Survival. Brawling. I forgot what ones I was putting it in. Well, I mean, you've obviously, if you look at it, you've got brawling and fortitude have got the most. Right. Which, it all depends on which ones you use most, though. I mean, I use... Because that's what you level up. Things that you use the most. Oh, blade durability is probably something you want to... Use... <sighs> yep. Oh, boops. Building, building, building a new that's you. 25 skill points, yep. How old ya? Dead Rising 4. Hope uh, when you buy better. I'd increase the... Yep. Uh, a durability of blunt... Because I use those sometimes as well. And then, I mean, it just makes them last longer. Helping you buy better. Right. Hello. Hello from the Jesus otter Christ. slide. Oh, I don't have any health on me. No, you don't. If you go in the shop, there's probably health. It's, it's a beer shop, so. I tell you. Stag. I'm sorry. There's a helicopter. We're sliding on otters. But it's not my fault that they're so slippery. Otters are cute. I like otters. Apparently they're pretty vicious. I mean, or like sexual deviant type things too. I seen them at the Adelaide Zoo when I went to Adelaide Zoo once. And they're just like, they were like all swimming together. And they're like swimming on their backs looking at all the people. They're pretty cute. I like them. The otters are pretty damn cute. The red doesn't panda mean, was does, cool too. It doesn't mean that you should have one as a pet. No, hell no. Don't have an otter. Boom! You ought to know that having an otter is a bad idea. Didn't. <laughs> Tangles, ladies and gentlemen, he'll be here all week. Just for your viewing pleasure. Don't adjust your monitors. <laughs> or televisions, or cellular devices. Oh, I'm on fire. Yes, you are. Is there anything in the back of here? Bread! <coughs> and a zombie. You really need hef. I, I, I'm trying to get at some hef. I can't see. Camera angles, please. Please, camera angles. I don't think you can get that hef. 
I'm going to die, people. I need health. I need health. If you run away from combat, you slowly start generating. Ah, I did notice hef. that. Fuck off. I'm never gonna get some health. I'm never gonna sing together. I'm a, I'm a little scared right now. I'm a little scared, bro. Have you died before? I have not. Is he gonna go through the whole game without dying? You probably don't want to go in that area. There's a lot of Zambinis. And and a people. And a people. <laughs> and a people. <laughs> and a singular people. <laughs> and a singular people. Never gonna give you up. Never, Never gonna, gonna let you down. down. Never gonna run around. Desert. Ah! <laughs> go in that shop, go in that shop. Goodbye. Never gonna tell a lie and hurt you. Vodka, that'll do. Never gonna give, never gonna give. Uh, what's we have known each other for so long. Jesus Christ, a zombie just fell from the fucking ceiling. Where did he come from? Was it an upstairs area? Probably. Oh. But you're too shy to see it. Oh, the cocktail. No, get the cocktail. Have a damn beer. Drink your beer. Yeah, grab a few more beers and stuff. So you yeah, do you help. get drunk though? I don't know. I know one way to find out. Drink a beer and say your prayers. What did you drink it for? Huh? Because I had. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I was just trying Slice to get some stuff out of my a ATM. All right. Once you grab stuff out of the ATM, we'll finish up. I don't think uh, I can get anything out of it. Actually. Oh, okay. Well. All right. Kill this guy. There you go. All right. Tune in tomorrow to see what happens. Oh, hello. Boy. Should I keep the reindeer mask? I feel as if I should change it up. Hello. Never gonna give, never gonna give. That's too